Hey guys, um, it dawned on me recently that aside from my channel's uh, description, I've never really had a chance to talk about what Hiking the Haunts is and what we're about. Um, Hiking the Haunts is myself and uh, my family and um, we we make videos sometimes mostly mostly usually just by by myself um, but sometimes uh, another member of the family or, or the whole family will tag along and uh, what we do is I, I go to uh, supposedly haunted sites um, haunted attractions haunted houses that are open in October and uh, a number of other things uh, there will be other videos coming that uh, just discuss any manner of, of uh, spooky subject matter anything Halloween related that that's what we like and that's what we're into and and that's what we're about um, so I, I've got about I've gone to about 20 different places and made videos and uh, just kind of gave a, a brief synopsis on um, the history of the location and what supposedly happens there and um, I have so many more lined up there's a lot more content coming uh, especially come Halloween time come October there's gonna be a lot more with the uh, the haunted attraction side of it going to haunted houses and uh, that, that's a big deal for us but I wanted to explain um, what it is that you can expect from us and, and what we do um first of all i am not a paranormal investigator uh that's not what i do um if you watch my videos uh expecting something spooky or scary supernatural to happen odds are it's probably not going to happen when i go out to various sites i'm there for a very limited short period of time um my videos are usually 15 minutes or less. Uh, I'm usually at the location for half an hour. Uh, most of the time. There are some exceptions. But uh, I, I don't stay at the location very long. I'm not there to uh, investigate or come up with evidence or proof one way or the other. Uh, I decided to start the channel when uh, I, I've always been a fan of... of ghost stories and and hearing about various places that are supposedly haunted uh i've just always enjoyed that but it's 2019 and there's still so many places that i've heard about or i, I read about that um if you try to find pictures video a lot of them there's nothing you can't find any pictures or video of a lot of the places that i go to so for people with similar interests such as myself, um, that's what I try to do. I just try to provide some kind of content. If you want to see what a certain place looks like, here you go. There you. That that's all I'm really doing. Uh, I'm not a paranormal investigator, like I said. Uh, for those people that that do uh, participate in that type of group. Uh, hopefully my videos will help and and show them certain locations that maybe they're not familiar with and if they want to go do that more power to them that that's fantastic but that's not what I do um, there are several things that I I don't do and will never do um, I feel like I'm a I'm a very good person to pre present this material uh, to showcase various locations and and tell the legend of what supposedly happens and the history behind it in a very brief nutshell kind of way um, and the reason why I feel that way is because I believe I'm extremely neutral okay uh, I do believe that there are things that in, in this universe that can and and possibly do take place outside of our understanding of science or physics um, but at the same time, I'm also what I consider a very healthy skeptic. Uh, I don't jump to the conclusion because I hear a story that therefore it must be haunted. Um, that, that's just not my...
my thing. So the material that I present is folklore. It's uh, legends. And I don't try to make any determination one way or the other, whether it's accurate, real, or, or not. I'm not looking for evidence that that's for somebody else. Uh, and I'll explain why. Um, one of the big reasons I feel like that is is you can watch paranormal investigative groups on TV, on cable, um, on YouTube, and I see some what I believe to be fallacy with uh, some of their methods. And that fallacy is I believe that a lot of people that go into paranormal investigation are looking for evidence of uh, the existence of the paranormal. And I believe there's a very large um, probability of confirmation bias. I believe that a lot of people involved that um, they, they, they want <laughs> evidence. So uh, I, I don't think that a lot of them are all that neutral. And, and that's okay. I'm not. I'm not trying to be critical. Uh, a lot of those teams, I think, usually lack genuine skeptics. And I am somewhere in between. I do believe that it's possible for things to exist outside of our understanding of the laws of physics. Um, but at the same time, I I also have my my skepticism when it comes to each particular location or story. And that's why I don't try to present the material one way or the other. Uh, I don't try to contact the dead. I don't practice any type of uh, mm, new age or metaphysical type uh, practices. Uh, for those that do, that that's fine. It's, it's just not my thing. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't try to contact the dead. I don't participate in anything, any seance or anything that would try to conjure anything. Um, like I said, it's just not my thing. But what I what I want to go into is uh, what we can expect, what you can expect from hiking the haunts in the future. I still have a lot of large number of, of locations that I intend to check out. Some of this is going to take probably years. And um, right now we are, we haven't really ventured outside of uh, the southeastern United States. Um, we're hitting all the closest and most local spots first. And I guess we'll kind of branch out as time goes on and get further and further out. Um, I have other ideas for other types of videos that I'd like to do. I Earlier today, um, I released my first book review, and that was on uh, The Ghost of Bellamy Bridge, uh, 10 Stories of Ghosts and Monsters in Jackson County, Florida by Dale Cox. Uh, so I, I may be doing the occasional book review. Um, there are some movie reviews that I think that I would like to do. Not, not really reviews. I, I tried years ago probably about uh, about six years ago, I did a, num a, a number of videos for um, just to review any on all new release horror movies that came out. And I didn't find that very gratifying and it was, it was rather time consuming. So I don't think that I'll do movie reviews per se, but I, I may do a series of videos on movie recommendations and just stick with the ones that I find appealing that I think that you might enjoy as well um, and and just cut through wasting the time with videos for um, movies that I wouldn't recommend so we may just do it um, very limited uh, it'll most likely uh, be limited to movies that I feel like you probably haven't seen or heard of and in, in, in other words I mean there's no point in doing a, a review of The Exorcist. You're familiar with it. You've probably seen it. You've heard a lot about it. You know enough about it. So um, I may just try to do it limited to movies that perhaps you might not have seen, you might have missed. Um, 
I would like to at some point, uh, you know, there are a number of haunted attractions, the haunted houses that uh, are supposedly, at least uh, are claimed to be, uh, really haunted, like legitimately haunted. And I would like to find the owner of one of these properties. And I, it's been an idea of mine for some time that uh, if I was able to arrange something, it would be really fun to do a uh, like a haunted challenge. And that would be to put myself into one of these locations um, that is supposedly legit haunted and uh, just stay there all night. I don't know if anybody will be willing to work with me on that, but that would be a, a really fun project to do. Um, again, it wouldn't be a paranormal investigation. It's it's more like just like a challenge to stay in a place. Uh, no lights other than perhaps maybe a flashlight um, and just stay there all night. Uh, now, as I understand the way that haunts usually work the way that uh, haunted houses do. Right now it is uh, it's getting to be mid-August so most of these places are probably already starting work in preparation for the Halloween season and uh, so now would not be a good time. I'm sure nobody is able to accommodate me on that. Um, I know one local haunted house that Every two years, the owner tries to go and change things up. So, in order to avoid spoilers, like, an owner may not want me to stay in there and, and film if some of the surprises of the, the haunt might be given away on video. So, it would probably be best if I could get in touch with a, a, the owner of a haunt after October say any time from November until May or June at the latest and uh, see if they work with me and allow me to film before they change the setup for the for the upcoming season um, anyway that, that's just one idea of mine that I think would be an awful lot of fun and um, but yeah we, we have an awful lot more content coming um, the family will be in a lot more of the videos this coming October when we go to various uh, Halloween and fall themed locations. Um, there are several not necessarily haunted, like haunted house attractions, but there's a lot of different fall attractions in the southeast that uh, we, we tend to go to. There's a few farms that put on um, fun events during October. And um, so there'll be a lot of footage of that coming, as well as the haunted attractions. Um, we like going to various stores that carry a good supply of Halloween merchandise and decor. Uh, recently we posted um, new merchandise, new Halloween stuff at, uh, at Michael's Arts and Crafts, as well as Big Lots. And there's some other places we'll check out. No doubt we'll, uh, we'll be going to visit the Spirit Store. Um, when it opens, that'll probably be in September. But, uh, yeah, basically that's what we're about and look forward to a lot more content coming. I don't really do too much to promote my channel or myself because I believe that our audience is, is a very niche audience that, um, it, it, it's basically, it basically exists for people such as myself who are into similar things and might just want to see what a particular place looks like and I'm just trying to provide content for anybody that happens to be looking up information on those specific type places. Um, yeah, look forward to a lot more con uh, content coming very soon and especially in October and um, I think October will probably be limited to going to haunted attractions and, and fall autumn type attractions you probably won't see much of uh, myself going out on my own to the various supposedly haunted places um, there are places that open up and give like guided 
ghost tours in October. Um, so I may attend some of those, but as for just like the way that my videos have usually been posted, where it's just me out in the dark alone, um, I'll probably take a break from that during October to focus on haunted attraction and more organized type events. And, uh, oh, there is one other thing that I wanted to talk about. Uh, at some point, um, hopefully I can have this ready and release it in October. What I want to do is I, I want to set up a uh, kind of campfire book reading, like a, a ghost story reading. And um, I'm not going to tell you what it is right now. You can probably figure it out. I'll give you some hints. But I felt like for, for October, it would be fun to do kind of like an audio book thing, but for YouTube, where it's kind of like sitting around a campfire, um, having a, a ghost story read to you. And uh, so I'll give you a couple of hints on, on what I want to work on, what, what I want to read and, and present and make available. Um, the first hint is that it, it's old, so it is public domain, and so it would be fine for me to just read it on YouTube. And um, the other hint would be that it... Uh, you could you could say that it is it is the original um, Halloween slash ghost story, the original American Halloween slash ghost story. So there's some pretty big hints right there, and that it's a uh, it's it's a pretty brief read, so it's not like a really long book or anything like that. But um, I would like to have that produced and have it ready and release it in October um, for story time. But yeah, that, that's what Hiking Haunts is about, and um, an uh, awful lot more content to come. I really appreciate everybody who does watch the videos, um, and my goal is just for you to be entertained and, and hopefully to be able to see something that you've been curious about. That, that's all I, I really aim for here. But thank you again for watching anyway, and uh, thank you to my subscribers. Um, this is just, it's an awful lot of fun. I really enjoy doing this. And uh, I hope that I'm not the only one that gets something out of it. I hope everybody enjoys what they see. But thank you for watching. And um, let me know anything that you might like to request. If there's anything you think I could do better or something you'd like to see me do, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'd, I'd, I'd be happy to hear and, and definitely take it into advisement and see if I can't knock that out. Thanks again. I'll catch y'all later.